Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Good. Yeah, dog. She's just a vodka. Oh, that's okay. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> not worried about it. No, she's, she's locked. She's in the kitchen. All right. Let's take a peek. Yep, and I can tell you it's your main line, so you can't use any water in your house right now. So, the reason why I, I hear that, but the reason why I don't think it's the main is because it's not happening when you use the kitchen. You have toilet paper on your floor. So what I, and that was from me, yeah. Yeah, that was actually, so what I did was I went in there with a snake. Yep. I op And when I opened this up, because I went in this way, it's not pouring out though. Uh, is that your wife, girlfriend, upstairs? Yeah. Can you have her flush the toilet? Yep. Yeah, one second. Tammy! 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 Flush the toilet? Can you flush the toilet? Can I? Yeah, just flush it. Please. Yep, just once. Yeah, so that's the only reason why I didn't think so is because it's not pouring out when I opened that. But I don't know. I mean, you would know better than me. But when I open this, and I open this down here. Watch your hand. Yep. See all the toilet paper on your black clothes? Yep. Yep. I've been doing it every day for the past eight years. Oh, I believe you. No, no, no. I, I believe you. And you got a ton of toilet paper over here dried up in the corner, too. And this cap has been off before. Which one? Oh, shit. See the teeth marks? Mm-hmm. That tells me your cap's been off before. Okay. All right, so that means there's something going on in the main. Yep, and it's it's pretty full. Um, yeah, it's definitely a main line. The reason why it's coming up in it's, this that was for me. This, oh, this you put me. all this in here. I put all that in there because what had happened was I got it all up with a shot vac, uh, and I was put in this bucket and I put it into here. This isn't actually even clogged up. That's from this gunk, which I shouldn't have done, but. This was worse, and right. I, I put it into here. That was me that did that. that the was... other thing I can tell you, besides it being clogged up in just that little spot with the gunk, yep. that right there is a backflow preventer, and they put it there on purpose. So there's a flap in there Okay. that when this line is backed up on this side with water, yep. it's going to close that so that this doesn't happen. Okay. So okay. that also tells me that it's past the point of just your washer. Okay. Cause that ties in down here at this Y. Okay. That's it. Which also tells me that you have a, a lot of water to drain down. All right. Let me get my husband, cause okay. he was he dropped me at the door. Um. We're gonna have to. Is this full? Um, yep. She started it, yeah. She started it, yep. That's what I had with a couple of days ago, yeah. She couldn't finish it. She's not gonna wanna finish it. She's gonna wanna put sanitizer in there and then wash these okay. clothes. Because I guarantee you, this is a lot of sewer water in here. Okay, all right. Uh, we need. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Wow, it's all the way over there, too. Yeah, yeah. So this this basically just it freaking it washed right down that way, is what happened. Okay. Alrighty. Um, all right. Let me get him. So we do have a two inch line that I, I just didn't know what you, th your thought process was on getting the flex shaft through that. Yeah, and this is all, this is all full. So what were you thinking of going in on? Wow, and this goes out the back way. It goes out side. This is the garage. 
So maybe, yeah, because this is the back wall to the garage, so maybe we were looking in the wrong spot for the clean out. Should we be going to cover it? I don't know, because I don't know exactly where it goes. The only other way I can figure out exactly where it goes is if I call uh, engineering and get a tie for this property. Yeah, let's try and call engineering and, and get a tie. Might be easier if I just bring the big machine down and do it from this back clean up. You need me to move that washer or are you all set? Uh, he's thinking of different ways right. to... How you doing, Bob? Not too bad yourself. Good, good. All right. Can't handle this winter stuff anymore. I'm telling you, man, it's, it's gas. You got the wind on top of Hi Mary, it's Shelly from Drain Medic. I was wondering if there's any way that we could get Thai information or if anybody knew um, if Essex Street was still combination. Okay, thank you. You can push that door too so that your heat doesn't keep kicking up. Hi Natalia, it's Shelly from Drain Medic. I have a question for you. Um, do you, is there any way that we could get the tie information for Essex Street? Uh, drainmedic911 at gmail.com. Okay, um, the other question I have for you is, is there any way, do you know if there's still combination over here? Combination, um, storm and sewer? So, Natalia said they're still on combination. 110% they're still on combination and she's sending me over all the ties. Okay. So we know where it's going. And I can, I'll forward you that information too. I'll get your email and forward I that to you. I appreciate it, yeah. So that yeah, way there you, you have that for owning the future, home. Future reference too, yeah. Yeah, thank you. So we're gonna try and go up from there. Hopefully we get it within 100 feet. I didn't really pace out how far the back of the house is to the street. She didn't say if the sewer line or the storm drain was in the middle of the street or is it for the... No, she's gonna, she's emailing us over all the ties right now. So, um, she's usually pretty quick about it. I usually get it within 10 minutes. Really? <laughs> that one's gonna make the video. That has a backflow on it.
Paul, drain that up. Yummy. Yep. Okay. Yes, hopefully we're on one right now, so you're right after this one. You're welcome. All right, bye. get by him so I came to sneak Absolutely. up through this way. <laughs> no, we, we're all set right now. Yeah, oh no, you wouldn't be in our way. If you wanted to learn anything, yep. questions are always encouraged, right, to be honest with you. Thank you. Too, so you guys can just take the clothes out and throw them out. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. tractor bag, did we? Because I was going to drain that down and just put the clothes in a contractor bag for him and run it through a bleach cycle. No, I didn't bring in a contractor bag. Hey, Kevin. Yes. Do you want me to, the washer's draining down now. Okay. Do you want me to grab a 
contractor bag and throw those clothes in it and then run it through a bleach cycle so I was while we're here. So I was ask you, yeah, because she just called me and she's like, Kevin, can you ask her? She's like, how? She's like, I really don't want to get rid of my clothes. Because those are our clothes. She oh, would, we can run it through a regular wash then. Can you? It'll, you it'll wash her? and yeah. then have her pick up. Lysol makes it. It's a laundry sanitizer. I think she just did. She, she said, I just picked up something like that. So, yep. Okay. So okay, awesome. have awesome. her use that. I'll run it through a regular wash for you guys okay. while we're here. And then just have her run it through again with the sanitizer. With sanitizer? Yep. And will that pretty much get all that stuff out of there? Yes. She wanted to ask you. Like, yep. I'm going to run it. Do you guys wash with hot normally? So it depends. depends. Lights are okay, cold. right yeah. now I'm gonna run it with hot. Perfect. Yeah, that's Hot fine. and cold, because yeah. the hot will kill whatever. Whatever's in there and then yeah. mix with the sanitizer afterwards, do it in another hot load. Okay. And then if you're worried about clothes shrinking, hang the ones that you're worried about. Yeah, that's don't what, dry. Right, right, exactly. Perfect. So, yeah, perfect. Alright, yeah, I'll just run it through normally then. Yeah, that's right there. Yeah, that's pretty convenient, huh? To have that, that snake. Yeah. That wow. I got wrapped up in that one though. Did you? Yeah, I, I would have lost my arm if it wasn't for my brother. Because he was down that time I was telling you about, he was down for a little while. And yeah, yeah I got wrapped in that one. Wow. It's yeah. not something to play with if you don't know what you're doing right, or you right. don't have respect well, for it. Well, it's, with electric, you can't stop energy. It's not like you can fight energy. Right. My brother had to rip the cord out of the wall and stop the spin. Oh, the fire department came and got me out of it. Unbelievable. How many feet is that? That's 100 feet. Yeah. That's Actually, while I'm up here, yeah. that's still going. Let's. I want to see yeah. if I can hear it outside. Absolutely. Know exactly where it's going. Absolutely. Yeah, and I did. I checked that wall, Shelly. There's nothing out here. Yeah. I checked I, I'm just curious if it's going to go under this. Yep. Just be careful with the ice. I, I put some melt down. Oh, I'm not worried about it. I'm just curious if it's going to go through here. I can actually grab something to pop that off. Let's see if I can. He might not be over this far yet. No. Because he had to go 100 feet. He had to go that way and then. Right. What happens is all the mud and everything, yep. the dirt, it all, see how it's all clogged up? So if you can, in the spring and stuff, if you can, yep. pop that out. Okay. Clean all that out and take a piece of like regular screening from like your screens. Yep. Put it in there, then put that piece back in. That'll catch all the bigger debris. That makes sense. And you can clean it out once in a while. That makes sense. I should have thought, I should have, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, just put it like right, under, right underneath yep. it, right? Yep, right underneath the grate yeah. and that'll catch the bigger stuff. And then when you see it start to puddle, you can be like, okay, I got a clean screen. Absolutely. That's a good idea. I didn't even think of that. Especially where you guys are combination over here, you're going to want that working. Shelly, what's that mean? What, what? So Listen, I'm, I'm you have these. Plumbing's not one of them. Yep. You have these yep. in your yard. Okay. And then these ones here are a catch basin that they use for rainwater. Okay. Um, or any other type of overflow type of water. Yep. So it says don't dump any waste in here, which this isn't the one that they sucked out because you can see all the leaves and debris so and everything. So they didn't do anything to that one. Um, but so you, you're not supposed to dump any waste in here. So what the city's okay. trying to do is this is just supposed to be rainwater. Okay. And then you have the sewer, which is what comes out of all the houses. Right, They're trying right. to separate the two so they don't have to retreat rainwater. That, okay, I get it. Yep, that makes sense. Yep, so they're trying to switch over to that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It helps with energy saving and all of that. Yep. And so yep. that makes sense. Yeah, I thought he did because he pulled his truck. I maybe I couldn't see you. I was talking to him. He's a really nice guy. Yeah, they are. They, most of them are nice. Himself. Yeah. Yeah, he pulled up right here and he was doing something. And then he went here and he went to that one down there. So I thought that he did something with this, but it doesn't look like he did. Yeah, no, he definitely didn't do no. anything with this one. Right. And the one down there, that's how we kind of knew you guys were still on combination because it's a triangle cover. Ah, uh, okay. Those are the yep. old covers. They don't use those anymore. Right, right. That's, those that ones are right there. beast to yeah, lift. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. We've lifted a couple of those. They're not fun. Yeah, it's a telltale sign, right? Yeah. Um, be, this being an older house, right? You're gonna. I mean, I, that piping down there that looks kind of new. The PVC the is PVC new. The PVC looks new, yes. but still so you have the uh, cast. The iron cast down that there. comes out. Yeah. I don't know if that garage was an addition, if it was like an afterthought after the house was built. Yeah, I don't know. Because um, yeah. see how this one's kind of detached? Yep, yep. So I don't know if it was like an afterthought and they came out the side and then down. Okay. But usually how it stubs out is it goes out of the house 10 feet cast iron. Okay. And then will come down your driveway with either whatever type of pipe they used at the time. And then okay. the city stub in is 10 feet. I got you. Yep. So, I got you. and I can explain that a little bit better once I get that tie information from Natalia. Yeah, yeah, no, like, like I said, you know, I, I've done a lot of 
different things, so the plumbing wasn't one of them. So. <laughs> I've, had, guys, I've had my hands in pretty much everything. Electrical, plumbing, mechanics. That's good, though. That's good. You know, jack of all trades, right? <sighs> Master of none, like my dad Master used to none, say. Jack, right, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll run that through in just a normal wash all and right. then just have her sanitize it after. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. to see if I could hear you outside. Am I good to turn the water back on? Am I good to turn the water back on? have respect for your customer's property. everything out and pull it back. Alright, just 
got to put Teflon tape on the clean out cap and we are done. So what I like to do is put the clean out in my left hand, tape on the right hand. You want the tape to come up and over the top like toilet paper. Stick it on the clean out, hold it with your left thumb. And then how you have it over the top, you can tighten it and pull it around the clean out. This goes for clean out, threaded pipe, anything. Go around, now you can put a bunch of pressure on it. Get it nice and tight on there. A few wraps, and you're good to go. Can pull on it, just breaks off, all stay in there in the threads. Just the clean out on. tape one the correct way. I know, but I have to give you a hard time saying that you put it on that way. Alright, only one thing left, put a sticker on the pipe and we are done. See you on the next one. Just like that. And they're good.